Hello guys and welcome back to the video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install the Paranoid Android ROM for OnePlus 70 device, which has been updated to the beta version. So previously, I told you how to install the alpha build when it was released later in December. So after that, I got a, I got a suggestion in the comment section below that I should definitely try out the newest release version, which was beta version for the Paranoid Android ROM. And I got to know that many things were fixed in this version of this ROM because previously when I installed this ROM, I faced an issue of not having a network, mobile network to actually call, I actually make a call. Eventually, even the fingerprint was bugged. So I thought why not install the latest one and see what all has changed and if there is any betterment from the previous version. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can install this ROM on your OnePlus 70 device. So I will request you to watch the video till the very end to avoid any mistake and avoid your phone to be bricked in any way. So even though if you break your phone in any way, like it, it must be soft break or hard break, just click on the playlist on top right corner to unbreak your device. The only requirement to install this ROM is an unlock bootloader as well as you must be running on Oxygen OS 11. So without wasting for time, let's head straight to the video. So my name is Rohit and you're watching SnapTech. So let's get started. So the only thing required to install this ROM on your OnePlus 70 device is this two files and an unlock bootloader like I told you before. So if you don't know how to do that, I already told you, just click on the right eye icon on the screen and unlock your bootloader and continue with this video. So once you have unlocked your bootloader and downloaded these files, keep it in a separate folder where you can navigate it easily as it will be easier for you to follow the whole tutorial and don't miss anything, don't skip anything so that you won't mess up anything or you don't break your device in any way. So once you have downloaded uh, the, both these files and kept in a separate folder, just extract this platform tools folder. And once you have extracted this folder, just copy this Sapphire ROM folder. I'll so just cut or copy it in this platform tools folder and just paste it over here. So as you can see, I have pasted this ROM file over here. So once you have done that, everything has been done. So we need to connect to our device in fastboot mode. So I'll just switch to my device now. So before booting your device in fastboot mode, go to your settings. Then go to the bottom, go to your about phone and just click on this build number. And just enter your password to enable the developer mode option. And once it's enabled, go back, go to your system. Then go to your developer options. And then scroll down until you see this USB debugging option. Just enable that. Click on OK. And as you can see, our OEM unlocking has been grayed out and written bootloader is already unlocked. That means we are working on an unlocked bootloader device. So to boot your device in fastboot mode, just turn it off first. After that, just hold volume up, volume down and power key all at once to boot into fastboot mode. And as you can see, currently we are in our fastboot mode and you can see here device state is unlocked. After that, connect your device to your PC and move back to your PC again. So I have connected my device in fastboot mode to my PC. So on the right bottom corner of the screen, you can see my device doing the whole installation process. So once you have connected that, just click on the search icon and type in CMD and press enter. And once you have done that, just type in fastboot space devices. And if you can see a strings of number along with fastboot written beside it, that means your PC has detected a device in fastboot mode. And if not, there'll be some problem with the drivers. So you can click the link in the description for OEM drivers and fastboot drivers for your OnePlus 70. Install the driver, restart your PC, and then your PC will definitely detect your device in fastboot mode. And once you have done that, you have to write this specific command names fastboot space update space and just copy the name of this entire file. So I'll just right click, rename, right click, copy and open your CMD window and press Ctrl V to paste the name and it's a zip file. So at the end, just type in .zip zip and press enter. So as you can see, our flashing process has been started. So it will take some time. So you need to just sit back and relax until this ROM get installed on your device and you don't have to touch your device in any way. No matter what happens, you can see my device on the right bottom corner of the screen and you don't have to worry as well as it takes time. And if you're new to my channel, a sub to the channel will be really appreciated for more videos like this.
so as you can see our rom has been installed and our phone is getting booted into our system so i'll switch back to my device again so once the installation process is done you will be on this kind of screen so you can disconnect your phone from your pc right now as you don't need it anymore so you'll be on this screen so you just need to press this volume down key to reach this factory data reset then press power key then again use this volume down key to again reach to this factory data reset then again press power key to reset every data on your device so that we can boot into our system easily so now our phone will boot into our system as it's a first boot so it will take some time to boot into system as you can see the boot animation of our newly installed room So here we can see that our phone has been booted into its system. So this is how you can install the Panel Android Room on your OnePlus 7T device. So if you enjoyed the video, a thumbs up will be really appreciated. And let's aim for the 100 likes. And if I completed this 100 likes before the end of this week, I'll definitely make a review video for the same. So please do it. And if you're new to my channel, or subscribe to the channel. Be really appreciated. So even before making a review video, if you want to move back to your stock OS, just click on the video on the right. And if you want to see a review video on the previous version of Panet Android Chrome, just click on the video on the left. So my name is Rohit and I'll meet you in the next one. Snaptech signing out.